Hi, I'm Jeremy Vellman. Welcome to Telescope Tips. Now this is a series that we have set up to help educate you on some of the tools that we use as amateur astronomers. I've been an astronomer most of my life, and to me personally, there's no greater thrill than a day like today, early spring day, knowing that in a few hours, the sun is gonna go down, the stars are gonna come out, and I'm gonna have the opportunity to explore the universe. And that's what the Memphis Astronomical Society is all about. Albert Einstein wrote years ago that the most incomprehensible thing about the world is that it is comprehensible. We can see all the way across the universe. Our sun is one of over 200 billion stars that belong to the Milky Way galaxy. And our Milky Way galaxy is just one of over 100 billion, perhaps as many as a trillion galaxies in the observable universe. And there's no greater thrill than having the opportunity to explore some of the deep sky wonders of the night sky. Now behind you, me, you can see some of the tools that I use as an amateur astronomer. Anything from a good set of binoculars, to a smaller telescope, to a large Dobsonian type of telescope for exploring deep sky objects, like globular clusters, or planetary nebula, or the Andromeda Galaxy and other island universes like our Milky Way Galaxy. Now in this series, we are gonna talk about some of the tools that not only I use, but other members of the Memphis Astronomical Society for exploring the universe. It doesn't have to be that complicated. A good set of binoculars or a good small telescope can help you see some of the things that you've always wanted to see, like the rings of Saturn, the moons of Jupiter, the phases of Venus, and craters on the moon. You wanna go further, a good Dobsonian type telescope will help you see deep sky objects. There are 110 objects in the Messier catalog, and I've seen all of them with this telescope right here. And it's a great opportunity to learn the sky, learn the constellations, learn where things are, and explore the wonders of the universe. Other galaxies that are part of the Virgo cluster, so far away that light now reaching the Earth began its journey when the dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Globular clusters, spherical configurations of stars that are as old as our galaxy, possibly older. And then planetary nebula, what our sun is gonna become when it dies five billion years from now. All part of the exploration. Now, I live in an urban area like most of you do. Unfortunately, light pollution is a big issue. So in order to get there, you have to transport yourself to dark sky locations. And twice a month, if it's clear, the Memphis Astronomical Society conducts observing sessions at a dark sky location in Northwest Mississippi, about 45 minutes from where I live near Memphis. And I transport one of these telescopes to those sites. Most of the time it's this one behind me, the 20 inch Dobsonian telescope. Light pollution has become a huge issue today. And sadly, a lot of people, Ordinary people have not even seen the Milky Way galaxy or had an opportunity to explore some of the dark sky objects. But if you get a part of the Memphis Astronomical Society and you get on our mailing list, then we will send you notifications of when our observing sessions will occur. And you can see myself, the telescopes that I use, as well as other experienced amateur astronomers and some of the tools that they use, from reflecting telescopes to refracting telescopes to a good set of binoculars, large, small, and everything in between. It's just a fantastic opportunity to learn the night sky. So stay tuned for more videos in this series. We're just launching this one now, Telescope Tips, Episode 1. Again, I'm Jeremy Veldman with the Memphis Astronomical Society. Looking forward to taking this journey with you guys as we explore the wonders of the universe. See you soon.